Welcome to a three minute quick flip where we're going to take this Queen Anne dresser, paint it black and turn it into this. Let's go. Before starting, you need to understand what it is that you're working with. This piece is a veneer construction and it has a bit of damage and a little bit of bubbling. So we just need to be careful what we do with it. You always need to start off with a really good deep clean. This removes all of the grease and dirt that is on the piece getting ready for you to paint. Because this piece is a veneer, it's really important that I don't leave any water on the piece and try and dry it as much as possible. If there's any water left on the piece, this could make the timber swell. Make sure you clean the whole piece. Yes, this includes inside the drawers because you don't know what's hiding in there. Now it's time to remove the hardware. I'm just going to sit this aside because I'm going to be reusing it. Next up is a scuff sand of the whole piece. This is just going to smooth out any imperfections and prepare your piece for paint. Make sure you sand all of the areas that you're going to paint. If you don't scuff sand certain areas, that's where the paint might scratch off easily. You can do your scuff sand with an orbital sander or by hand if you don't have access to a sander. When scuff sanding, use a 240 grit sandpaper and go light. If you're working with a veneer like me, you need to try and not sand through the veneer. Before you start painting, you do need to give it one more good deep clean. This just removes all the sanding dust. Now it's time to apply the primer. Here I'm spraying a shellac primer, but you can just apply a primer by hand with a paintbrush. Once the primer has dried, give it a light sand with a 400 grit sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. Then just give it a quick wipe down with a lint free microfiber cloth. Now to apply your first coat of paint, I'm just using a brush and roller, however you could also use a paint sprayer. We have chosen to paint this black, but it could be any colour that you would like it to be. Use your brush to get into all the hard to reach areas and the roller for the larger spaces. Once you've finished applying the first coat, let it dry thoroughly and then apply a second coat. This will give you really good coverage. The last step is to apply a top coat. This is going to be for durability and protection. I'm using a gloss finish in a clear polyurethane. Reapply the hardware, put it back together again, and then you have your beautiful end result. Let me know what you think of this piece down in the comments.